On today's video, we talk about rates going up again. What's going on? Alex Force here, top real estate agent. If this is your first time to my channel, every single day I drop a news video about real estate. So if you're into real estate, make sure you hit that subscribe button. On today's video, we're gonna talk about the Federal Reserve meeting next month to talk about hiking up rates up to control inflation. Obviously, we know with all the videos I've been shooting and everyone can see pricing, pricing's out of control, so we're raising rates to control pricing. Their plan is to try to get rates back to 4.5, what was back in 2019 before the pandemic. Right now, there's so many houses not on the market right now. We have less than a million houses all over America. So it should be interesting to see even with rates rising, if that's gonna, prices are gonna stay up because of the low inventory. Normally when rates go up, prices goes down, but because we're so short in inventory, I don't see that happening that much. You know, last year we saw about 20% increase. Our plan is to see five to 8% increase in pricing. So let's break down the numbers really quick for you. So if you're buying a $600,000 house and you're putting 10% down, currently right now at a 4% interest rate, your monthly payment would be $3,453. If we'd have to see a jump up to 4.5, your payment would jump up to $3,611. That's a difference of $158 a month with roughly over a year, less than $2,000. Is it that big of a deal? Not really less than $2,000 a month, but will it push buyers out of the market? Of course, obviously prices are already uh, out of affordable reach for a lot of people and with rates going up and we don't see prices going down, we are gonna see buyers leave the market. So if you're a seller in this market, you should be all right on pricing because there's such a demand for homes and such a low inventory. I don't see a big, a big effect. If you're a buyer right now in the current market, make sure you talk to your agent and talk to your loan officer right now to make sure to see what's gonna happen to your buying power if rates jump up to 4.5. If that buying power gets decreased a lot, you need to get in there as quick as possible and get into a house before that happens. And you might say, Adam, we're trying to buy a house. We're trying, we're trying, we're trying. A good tip for you guys, start looking at things that have been on the market for 30 to 60 days and maybe a little bit overpriced than what you can afford. Write a lower offer, maybe you get accepted, or you need to start lowering your standards of what you're looking for. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, share, and hit that thumbs up. Until next time, guys, peace.